Hello, and welcome. I am Zinder, and this is a modified Skyrim playthrough. And it's got mostly graphical mods, including an ENB. Uh, however, I have some very, very specific gameplay additions in place. And we're going to be playing as an Argonian, as I normally do. Uh, smallest size, because I said so. And the thing about these very specific uh, mods is they alter combat, and only combat. Aside from a couple, there's one for the purposes of leveling up in general statistics. And there's one for perks. But it's it doesn't change perks. It doesn't change perks in any way, shape, or form. And that might be, might not make a whole lot of sense when you think about it. You know, what, what kind of perk mod could it be that it doesn't actually change perks themselves? And... We'll get to that shortly. Because I'm going to have to do some mod setups after, after after this, but I'm going to show you my MCM list before I pause it and start modifying. And I say pause because I'm really going to want to pause. Yeah. Right, makeup. So, oh, actually the first thing I want to do is give this an alpha and a coloring. Ooh, spooky. And basically what I want to do is that one. Now, I'm doing this, obviously, because what I'm trying to accomplish is I want a sort of detailing. See what I mean? And that's one of the really good advantages of Race Menu, being able to hijack the textures from other races and use them for the purposes of this. Uh, zoom out. Body scales. Do I want to use those body scales? Uh, axe style 1, which will put it on the back. Um, no mace styles. Sword style 1, which will put it on back. Dagger style, which will put it on hip. Two-handed can see where it is. I don't... Oh. Yeah, I can't adjust that, but that's fine. And it's fine for a very good reason. I guess this is my only sliders, which is fine. I can live with this. But uh, is there just a general arm size? No, there's four arm size. 15% uh, sounds about good enough. Uh, upper arm... Is that doing what I want it to do? I hope so. Uh... Hmm. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's have a look at the legs. I'm probably going to want to increase the legs a bit if I can. Uh... Thigh and calf, so yeah, I can. 1.03. Just increase the general legs. Ooh. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Well, I think that should pretty much do it. I am the kind of person where... I'll likely come back through, and I will use the show race menu to make adjustments to my character, like, quite a lot. Unless I manage to get to the point where I have enough money where I can use the face sculptor. Although that may just only allow me to edit the face, although I think it brings up this entire menu. I think it's a bit, how should I say, it doesn't care. So, we're going to name ourselves that. Uh, would you like to choose a class and birth sign? 
Now, no, no, that's fine. Everything is as it should be there. Uh, we're going to start with... Hmm. Oh, right. I knew what I was going to do. I don't want to do anything that's going to edit... That's going to mess with combat too much. So I'm going to go with learn all skills 15% faster, the Lover's Stone. Uh, now I'm going to make a custom class that's going to be focused on combat. It gets plus 5 in archery, block, heavy armor, one-handed smithing, and two-handed. The primary, the favorite attribute is going to be health, which will give me plus 20 to that. Not really a big deal. You'll see why. Now, uh, I'm choosing the five primary skills, which I'm choosing heavy armor, block, one-handed smithing, two-handed, and... Hmm. See, here's the thing, is because these are vanilla perks, it's kind of meh. I think I'm going to go with alchemy. This is not going to make a huge difference because uh, that's character creation overhaul that that is right there. It It's not going to make a huge difference because of basically how it's going to work. And I have Helgen Reborn in, but... Okay, so... I have all geared up, which... All it's really going to do is my favorited stuff and various other things are going to show up on my character. Uh, these are NPC settings. Uh, da -da -da -da. I... Oh, okay, okay. I'm not going to mess with that, but un uh, automatic perk unlocking. This mod does exactly as it says it's going to do, which is basically, instead of placing perk points in, when you level a skill up to a certain point, you will automatically acquire that perk. Other things I have in are better fast travel, better vampires, although I probably won't be using vampirism in this Let's Play. Honestly, I probably didn't need that, but I'm hoping that it adjusts enemy vampires to make them slightly more threatening. Uh, complete crafting overhaul, just... Uh, I actually don't know much about it. Convenient horses to make horses actually usable. Customizable camera. This will allow me to basically edit my third-person camera easily and effectively in-game. Now, this doesn't solve the fact that editing the third-person camera doesn't fix your, how should I say, impact location for your attacks, which is why I actually want adaptive sneaking. Uh, which is why I'm not going to be using the lock-on mod, because it doesn't work when you adjust the third-person camera. Now, I have dual sheath redux. This will allow me to get shield on back and dual wielding on things. Uh, Civil War overhaul. This will completely overhaul the Civil War, adding in a whole bunch of stuff that was removed previously and such else. Uh, I have enhanced blood textures, although it's just called enhanced blood in the menu. Oh, no. 30. 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't like having the blood stick around for too long. It's fine on the weapons, but on my character, it's really annoying. Uh, I don't want quite as much blood. I'm going to set this to 35%, because I do have a mod that changes damage. So, yes. Uh, I have realistic ragdolls, so that should theoretically work. So I'm going to turn that on. Extend UI, I actually want these on. Uh, honestly, I don't know what actual impact they have, because every single time I've turned them on, I've never actually done anything that's made use of them. I have footprints, 
obviously entirely a cosmetic mod. Uh, I have this, which will give me access to, like, Night Eye and whatnot, although that'll take a little bit of work. And it's balanced out because you need uh, Weemer oil all the time. Well, not all the time. It's actually got r really... If anything, I'd make it consume more. But, uh... Harvest Overhaul, so I don't have to pick anywhere near as many plants. And Harvest Overhaul Creatures. Uh... I'm gonna actually... Turn this on. Uh, okay... Yes. Uh, these are the lurkers from Dragonborn. I'm actually saying it so they have Daedra hearts. Uh, vampires are not going to have blood potions. I'll probably not do cooking, although I really should at some point, because I don't believe I've ever gotten that achievement. I have the HDTPE weapon sling, or as it's called, uh, HDT equipment. I'm changing the slot number because otherwise I'm going to have a potential uh, conflict with Dual Sheath Redux because Dual Sheath Redux is set up to use slot 44 and that's what that defaults to. I have immersive armors and immersive weapons and immersive creatures. Uh, actually. Oh, right. Uh, I don't know if it's just the version of immersive armors I have, but if I open up its menu. Okay, automatic perks has analyzed. But if I open up the immersive armors one, it breaks my mod menu. Uh, I don't entirely know. I uh, actually don't want additional spawns because things are going to be a bit of a pain in the ass as it is. So I'm going to leave everything else as it is, and I'll adjust it later if I have to. We're going to skip over a less intrusive HUD at the moment, because it's going to take a little bit for me to set up. Uh, this is more HUD. This is actually a really cool mod. Uh, I don't believe there's anything here I can show you it with. No, there isn't. But I'll show that off next time. Well, not next time. Uh, when I come back from adjusting things. I don't know why I even bother trying to change these, because every single time I try, it never works. But player head tracking, because I'm going to be in third person view. Uh, 1.0, sync with Argonian, sync with Argonian. That's mostly for first person view mode if you're adjusting height, which I didn't. Uh, Sky UI, obviously, that's how you get MCN. Uh, Dance of Death. I'm actually going to disable the last enemy restriction, but I'm going to keep perk restrictions on because I'm using the vanilla ones, so it should work fine, and I shouldn't need to adjust anything there. Uh, TK Dodge, I'm changing it to a Dodge Key, and I'm setting it to only use the Dodge Key. And this is if you have the Silent Roll perk from sneaking, you'll actually get a Dodge Roll. Uh, I don't think it really worked when I tried before. Oh, okay. This is for... Uh, forward rolling, essentially. Uh, TK hit stop. I like to turn these values down, otherwise they're a bit too strong. But basically what it does is it tries to put a small delay whenever you hit something. So it feels like you connected. Uh, trade routes. This mod basically makes it so if you want, you can make money via carting items from one town to another. If that makes sense. Uh, undead effects. Uh, da -da -da. Basically, this gives effects on reanimated mobs, which is really nifty. Dim. And then I have wet and cold. I am... I don't know if I can actually adjust whether or not it applies the slow effect. Oh, okay, yeah, it does, right there. 
Uh, I forgot to install the Ashes one. I'll make sure to do that before we end up in Solstheim. But... Yeah. And then Unread Books Glow. Because I just like that mod. Now, here's the thing about a less intrusive HUD. There's not much in this screen. And it's because you've got these. And... This is going to get a bit ridiculous, and it's going to be very time-consuming. Because when I press numpad enter, we get this. And this is how I'm going to change my game. Why am I changing the settings on where stuff are and whatnot? The easy thing, or the easiest way for me to explain it is because my difficulty mod is designed to give Skyrim more of a Dark Souls feel. And so, I want to readjust my interface, partly to give me a sort of Dark Souls feel. Uh, and unfortunately, the, one of the keys also brings up the ENB FPS counter, which is why that's now up there in the top corner. A stamina bar. I actually want to scale this down one. I've actually set the UI up a few times. Unfortunately, this is the fastest I can do with them. I was going to skip this, but I've kind of decided not to, because uh, not all elements are going to show up whenever I'm oops, uh, playing, at least not at one complete time. And so I kind of want you to be able to see what I'm doing. There we go. The scaling speed is based entirely on uh, your stepping. So I wanted to make sure that I got the scale I was going for. I can't tell how well that's touching. Oops. Eh. I'll fix it later. Now I want. Oops. I actually want to turn on the alternate compass, but I'll get around to that. Down, 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 down. Compass at the bottom. Oop, that's a bit too close to the bottom for my tastes. Here we go. Uh, enemy health. I actually want to adjust the stealth meter first. Oop. Why do I keep on pressing alt? Alt is not going to help me here. I'm actually not going to adjust its scaling. I do want to bring it up a few units. Okay, now we can back up to enemy health. This is taking... It's going to take me roughly four minutes total, I think, to get this completely set up. Uh, that's fine now. I don't need to adjust its scale. Arrows. Uh, I normally, the la the other t few times I set this up, I actually brought it down two notches, but for readability on YouTube, I'm actually going to only bring it down one, which puts it at 90% scale. Okay. Stealth meter I already did. Crosshair, I'm not going to adjust. Sneak crosshair, I'm not going to adjust. Now the enchantment bars. These obviously track the current enchantment level, but on your weapon. However, there's this really cool effect in this mod where I can rotate. And this is useful because I'm going to put these together. I don't know if you can actually hear me like spamming the keyboard in order to move these, but. The unfortunate part is, if I hold it down, nothing happens. Okay. They're not going to line up quite right, normally, because, obviously, one's 90 flipped. There. I think. There. Because, well, got to be perfect. You can change, adjust the, uh alignment of the text using the same rotate button if you see it here in the center inside of all that green text 
Uh, numpad 9 is the rotate and the align text key. But all I wanted to do was move that. Location text, I want this in the center. I want to move it up, and I actually want to scale it down. I actually scale it back up one. Does that look centered? I think so. Oops. Wrong button. Activate button. I'm not going to move that. I'm not going to move that. Not going to move that. Or that. Or that. Subtitles. I'm going to move them up. And then I'm going to adjust their line spacing. Oh. 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 There. And... Oh. Followers back button... It's called followers back button, but it's just conversation key. Quest objectives text. Oops. I'm going to put that up there. Could put it somewhere else, but I'm going to put it up there. You shall learn. I'm going to scale that down once. I'm going to move it up there as well. Skill level up text. I actually am going to move the progress meter first. I'm going to scale it down one as well. I'm going to move this over, hiding the level progress thing off the side of the screen. Oops. And now we'll move the skill level up text. Oh, come on. Down, down. Oops. So that happens when you accidentally press the uh, key thingy when also spamming the uh, scale key. Uh, there and down. The unfortunate problem is there's currently no. Uh, preset setup-y thing for this. Which means that if you want to make adjustments, you have to do it to every single character. Which means, yes, I've been through that process. Always show HUD bars. I want those. Uh, alternate compass slim. And I guess alternate sneak meter. I just wish there was an easier way to adjust these. I don't actually know what some of these look like, so. Alternate snake crosshair. I see. I don't know how this alternate sneak meter works, by the way. Uh, what does the alternate health bar look like? Um... Okay. I don't know if I actually noticed the difference. Oh, I see what it does. Okay. It just basically reverses the texture. So I'm assuming we'll also uh, modify the thingle. Because that statement made sense. Thingle. Okay, so, I'm going to make a save, a hard save, after doing all that changes. And we're going to spend the next few minutes getting out of here. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. This is alternate start, live another life, if you've never used it before. And I'm just going to go with, I want to escape this cell. This will give me nothing. I have literally nothing. Other than the book provided by Alternate Start, the book provided by Helgen Reborn, and the book provided by one of the Dark Souls themed mods. I have Weapon Sling, which comes from uh, HDT Equipment, which basically it allows my weapons to have physics when sheathed. Now, I have a few Dark Souls themed mods in. I have the bonfires, 
mod. Uh, I think it's called. I think it's just called Dark Souls Bonfires. I have Dark Souls gameplay, which drastically alters the way combat is played out. Think of other mods where you know damage amounts are higher and whatnot, but it's got the whole Dark Souls blocking with your shield. It takes stamina based on the amount blocked and this, that, and whatnot. Higher regen rates, health doesn't regenerate really. And there's a few other things that I can get from the other mod. Also, I need to be very careful not to die before I reach a shrine of the Nine Divines. Any of the shrines. Because I have a mod that changes death. And what I mean by this is when you die... Uh, I'm actually going to favorite Hist skin. Now, this prayer of sacrifice thing. This, I believe, it would... F Emulative RK functions like... Uh, basically what it does is, if you die with this mod, you lose all your equipment. Everything. Your money, all of it. You go back to being a naked character. If you haven't run to a shrine and used one of the Shrine of the Nine Divines, you will respawn at the Time Tear at the throat of the world. With nothing. So an Amulet of RK should technically let you keep all of your stuff. In this case, I'm assuming you could technically... You could, you know, it destroys the Amulet. The Amulet of RK. But I'm assuming that if you do this, it will teleport you to the last you shrine and remove it. Effectively killing you. Uh, show attributes will bring up the attributes from... Uh, third era attributes. I ignore export head, that's... Part of one of the uh, charge end mods. Uh, and I guess I'll favorite prayer of sacrifice. Oh, before we do anything else... We might not make it out of here, but I... I want to. Uh, Sky UI. Do not check map menu. Do not check favorites menu. Because I have those overridden. I have uh, Warburg's paper map. Which, unfortunately, my ENB's... Uh depth of field is affecting it. I may switch this out for the paper map version, like the actual proper paper map that you got with the pre-order of the game, because I actually have that. So that would just make it more interesting. But I also have the two menus that I undid there. Uh, what was... I forget what the... Oh, right. Favorite menu. Ta-da! Uh, for some reason, it's not quite where it's supposed to be, but I don't lose access to anything. I mean, unless it's supposed to come in from the top, but I don't know. So, his skin, and then other over here. So, if we show attributes, I currently have zero. So I have zero bonuses to my anything. Now I should have 120 health. Yes, and everything else is 100. Uh, perks to increase. I just, hmm. Weird. I don't. I don't know if I can actually place that. Uh, now that we've actually done that refix here, let's do this. I want to see what happens if I actually try and place. Whoops. Uh, no. Try and place in uh, perk point. You can't. Okay, good, good. Just wanted to make sure. So, ah, I've only got two lockpicks left. Aha! Very good. So I'm going to sneak up here. I'm going to grab all of these. 
And I'm actually going to keep sneaking. Ooh. What does it say? The storm is coming, I can tell. The water leaking in has become stronger. There's no better time than now. When the storm hits, the guards will be scrambling to figure out what to do with this. Amidst the confusion, we need to overpower the few that will be standing guard outside our cells and hold off the cell block entrance. We need only to hold off until I can get one of their swords and break open the drainage grate in the corner of my cell. That's where we'll make our escape. Everyone move down the river and we'll try to find shelter there until the storm passes. Okay. Time to get these favorited and equipped. Mortal food. No one hides from Hmm. Aha. I the only downside is I don't know if I can actually disable the uh, thing from the slow. Like, I actually don't like the slow from use your words. I don't like the slow from the timed block thing. But, I don't think I don't know if I can actually remove it. And screw it. We'll put on the cloak, because why not? So, yeah. Shield is on back. Uh, doesn't look like the shield's affected by physics, but that's fine. Everything else is. Okay. So, there should be multiple ways out. Uh, for some reason, I've screwed up an animation somewhere. I'm actually blocking right now, but you can't tell. At least I should be blocking. It's really hard to tell. Uh, no. Pretty light boots? No. Oh. Uh. Oh, well. That's all screwed up now. Damn you, programs! Damn you, mouse, not staying in the proper screen. Well, you saw my mod, mod organizer pop up there, so that's fun. And you saw a piece of the team speak, which is muted. Pop, pop. But I'm going to completely ignore that unprofessionalism and leave it in. Okay, uh, actually, if I favorite a torch, it's not going to provide light, is it? Good. I ignore the flickering. Uh, HDT unfortunately has slight issues when it comes to indoors sometimes. If we actually take the cloak off... Huh. Uh, hey. You're supposed to be breaking. Oh well. Okay, that should be... I think that's... Oh wait, let's check up here. That probably takes us pretty much outside, but we might as well clear out this place while we're in here. Another Imperial shear, sh Sheared? Shield. Take the bow. Guards orders. We can't let the prisoners out, so we either kill them or let them drown. Either way, all guards must evacuate as soon as possible. The storm is about to wash this whole fort into the river, and I'll be damned if I have to report one legion death while under my watch. You have your orders. Take those. I don't believe there's any arrows to acquire here. I'll take the apple cabbage stew, because why not? Let's check up here. Oh, hello, chest. Gold, lockpicks, minor magica. A hat. Iron battle axe. I actually kind of want a two-hander. And not gonna be taking carrots. Uh, it's still going up. Two Skyrim. Okay, two Skyrim. Uh. Oh. Hmm. I kind of thought I was gonna take fall damage there, but then I didn't, and I was kind of sad. 
Okay, so I'm going to put this as one, this as two. Oops. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, one of the mods I have installed auto saves when I believe when uh, doing or opening the menu sometimes. Words. I'm apparently good at them. Kind of disappointed the bow isn't showing up, but the axe is there. Okay, so. Why is the camera not as far off to the side as it's supposed to be? It's being incredibly dumb. There we go. Okay, so shield is one. Oh, that's not one. That's where I started. Slightly distracted. Slightly confused. Open. Okay. I really need to fix the animation with the shield because that bothers me deeply. Gold and a torch. I don't know why I decided to loot the torch, but I did. Uh, empty. Does someone feel dead? Ha! Deal with it. Cape Brown Burlap, I already have one. An Iron Nodachi. You know, as overrated as it is, you know, considering. Oops. Nodachis are kind of. Oh, oops. Large katana. Ooh, using katana. Well, actually, I'm using a nadachi, but. I like swords. And thus, I'm going to have the sword. Until I find another sword. That's more of a regular sword. And less of a this sword. 12. Versus. 27. Really? Oh, no, sorry. 25. But still. I'll be periodically switching in and out of first person view in order to make things simpler. So none of these are skill books. I actually want this. This is Legend of Red Eagle. So I'll take that. This is a skill book. It's red. Is that the end? It appears to be the end of the world as we know it. Okay. I. Oh, what? Actually, I just remembered. There was the note about a drain in one of the cells. I did open this, right? Yes. Where, oh where... You know, I don't need to go in these to look, but I don't care. Oh, let me out. We're in. Ooh, gold. Built in gold. No drain. If this seems a little dark, that's because it actually is a little dark. You know what? Four. Dachi three. Four. Okay, there's the drain. Well, down we go. Down we go. Chest down here. A steel helmet. I'm not a huge fan of helmets. Especially when they look like that. Is 
special. One gold barrel empty, nothing over there. And open to Skyrim. Woo, load screens. So, I have no idea what time of day and game it's going to be once we get outside, but... We shall see. We shall see. The only, sh the only unfortunate thing is normally these load screens would be considerably faster, but they're not. Because I have a ton of texture mods, and I'm running an ENB. And I'm recording. Although, I wouldn't think that would make a huge difference. Uh, uh, oh, water. Revellers. Well then. And this is how everything looks. What? Ah, but you look tired. Come. Share a bottle of you know what? Screw it. Love we'll a drink. Cheers, my friend. Hunting brew mead. Oh, right. It's food. May your adventures find you. You know that's actually idiotic of us to be drinking, because the last time we went was our stamina to regenerate slower. But meh. Now, I'm not afraid to let this episode go on long, because, first of all, it's the first one. Which means that it's basically the introductor to this series. And second of all, I don't want to go anywhere until I've found a shrine. No, not on the local map. Oh good, Windhome is up there. There should easily be a shrine of Talos there. Oh. Oh. I was worried about that. I'm gonna have to modify immersive creatures. And we're also gonna want to go back to the autosave because of that. I was worried that immersive creatures might be too strong, if you know what I mean. And, well, that thing just one hit me. And I hit it like three times, and there was two of them. See what I mean? I end up on the throat of the world and naked. I need to modify immersive creatures. Hopefully the load screen to get back there doesn't take too long, because hopefully a lot of the information is cached now. But... We'll see. If it was up to me, I would actually have the mod set up so if you're not bound to a shrine, which basically means if you haven't been to a shrine, you have to load from a save. I know that if you're in the intro sequence, the standard intro sequence, and you die, it says, what are you doing? You haven't even completed the tutorial yet. And it automatically kicks you back to your last save. Okay, shield out. Now, immersive creatures. Difficulty adjustments. It's on adept, but... Uh... Don't actually want these. Novice might be too easy, but I'd rather start it off. Oh. Wait, what? To achieve vanilla, like, set this to easy. Default adept. This doesn't say anything. Okay, hopefully. This resolves that funkiness. No Rellers? Okay. Wait, where am I going? Oh, uh, okay, I'm going northeast. This is good. 
Vigilant of Stendars. I just realized that I should be picking up plants. Hey, I'll pick up any plants I've come across in the forward direction. I got some Vigilant of Stendars to help me here. Dodge things a bit odd, but what are you gonna do? Vigilant of Stendar. You got an amulet of Stendar. That's actually really useful, and a backpack, which could actually be really good, and some healing parts. Ooh, steel boots and steel gauntlets. I approve. And we'll take that for the purposes of selling. Uh. Ah, screw it. Oh, I'm already almost overweight. Steel boots, steel gauntlets. Keeping the steel helmet off. I don't care what you people say. Well, now I really look armed to the teeth. Ah, screw the other Durzog. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the same mod that's giving me that uh, shield in front of me when I'm sprinting is also the same mod that's screwing up my uh, shield walking. So, I don't know on that one. Did you manage to kill the Durzogs? They seem to have one hit the uh, vigilance. Not sure I should feel about that. I'm blocking. Uh, yeah. Now speaking of things, uh, TK dodge. Uh, I want to. Uh, I'll make it four times. Uh, I wish I had the option to increase the distance dodged. Eh, it takes... that's roughly, what, 7% of my stamina? I may or may not want to adjust it in the future. Wolves. I'm actually going to abuse quick saves for now, until we can get to a shrine. Oh, right, that's blocking power attacks, isn't it? I knew that. I don't actually know... I don't actually know a lot of the, uh... Things in the game's, uh... That's what I'm looking for. Oh! Kill move! I don't know a lot of the ingredients in the game's, uh... Effects. I know that blue mountain flowers have healing and that wheat has healing. I know that charis eggs have invisibility. For some reason... That's about all I know. A lot farther to Windhelm than I expected. So, what's your story? I don't want some snotty elf telling me what gods I can and can't worship. Hmm. I see. That's a, uh... It's a nice Stormcloak puppy you have there. If you know any two sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Uh, won't do. How much weight do I actually get from this? 50. The question is, do I want to use them? So I feel like anything that gives you increased weight is a bit... I don't know. I don't like it for the same reason I don't like bandolier bags and pouches. It's good cosmetically, but the extra extra added weight kind of removes some depth from the game for me. That's my personal opinion, though. Ooh. Wolves. Oh. 
Oddly enough, I think that's meant for actually uh, bashing them. But it works very well for moving out of the way on uh, wolves because of the fact that they leap. Okay, that Nadachi hilt is funky. Not hilt, but uh, scabbard. I guess it's not really so much of a scabbard because it just kind of holds it. But that said, I have that hotkey right. Oh, don't do odd things. I believe this blocks 40% damage, blocking with a weapon, although I can't be 100% sure on that. Oh, shut up. But, I don't know. Oh, wet and cold starting to take effect. I see some snow developing on my character. Oh, and I apologize for the slight hitches. I'm getting a warning on OBS, which I use for recording, uh, about high encoding rates. I don't know if that's because the game's lagging out or if I'm overpowering the uh, the rend or the encoding engine of my video card. But. I'll have to look into that. Um, maybe reduce the bitrate or something. Well, no, bitrate should make a huge difference. I might have to adjust the encoding speed, overall quality type thing. You know, the things, the things in the advanced menu on OBS. You know those. Hooray for CTD! Oh well. They happen. So, where or oh where is the best place to find a shrine? A few septums, huh? What do I. How many? I have 316 gold. Spare a coin. Have a gold. Divines bless your kind hearts. Are you here to bully us? No, I don't hate your people. Come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's uh, a haven of prejudice and narrow uh, envy, unworthy of I one such as you. Nothing new there. He likes to get drunk and walk around the great water yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charm. Uh, Hello. Hello. I need a shrine. I can't be bothered with you at the moment. In theory, I would assume there would be one in the Hall of the Dead, at least. Uh, I believe Ar that's where you can find Arcade shrines, is in the Hall of the Dead. This is the Hall of the Dead. Somebody here. Yeah, yeah. Why can't you have the Arcade shrine at the very job, beginning? Don't really complain, there is a shrine of Arcade in here, right? Right? I'm sure there's one somewhere. Aha! I see it. You! Shrine! Your soul has been bound to this shrine. Very good. Now, if I die, I should end up here. Not exactly an optimal location to end up when you die, but it's better than ending up in the throat of the world and being naked. Oh, you don't perchance sell amulet of arcades, do you? No. Okay. How do you acquire? What is the normal way to acquire an amulet of arcade? Now that I think about it, this is not something I normally happen upon frequently. You know what I mean? I will steal one if I find it. I swear. I don't think I'm gonna find one, though. 
think I've pretty much exhausted the entirety of what I'm going to find inside of here. This is the hall oh, of the ran too far again. You'll end up here. Up here. Here we go. I got lost. Alone. Confused. Yeah, the high encoding rate warnings are whenever I'm loading out now, at least using this codec, so. Well, not codec, but the setup. I, I took the opportunity when that CTD happened in order to fix that. Uh, what am I doing? I want to go over here and I want to have a little talk with these people. You're still open, right? Take a look. Uh, let's see, you can have this, this. This, 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 this. Uh, do you have any... Ooh, steel armor with pauldrons. I can't afford it. It's too expensive. Iron battle axe, that, that. I think you can even have that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Whether it's on it or in this place. Get off the forge. I need it. Stop. This is a crafting interface overhaul I have in. Uh steel armor takes steel ingots, leather strips, and leather. Steel armor with pauldrons takes exactly the same, but it has one extra steel requirement. I make dwarven armor. Yes. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but whatever. Uh, five steel, four leather strips. I should have enough leather. The question is, do you have steel? To protect yourself or deal some damage? Do. If you meet anyone here, give me the tanning rack. Taking. I didn't pick anything up. <sighs> Heavy. That's 45. This is 50. This is 49. Okay, so I guess I'll go with the steel armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Commenting on my work. I see how it is. Steel armor with pauldrons. And now we look like a real badass. Where's the temple? I don't actually know where the temple is in here. I know in Solitude where I can find the temple, but not here. I've never actually looked for the temple. Does it actually have a proper temple? If I put this back on, am I going to get the weird flashiness again? No. Okay, good. Palace of the Kings. Oh, right, right. So, I have bonfires in, and I'm not sure about the bottomless box. I've never actually checked it to see if it's city-bound or what. But I'm going to put all of my ingredients in here. Sit at bonfire. Look, you even get the whole sitting down thing. That's not entirely what I meant to do, though. Ah, that did gain me access to this, though. The Estus Flask. 
Now, I believe this is restored to five whenever you sit. I'm gonna bind those to six. So let's drink one. Now if I sit down, do I get another Estus Flask? That's, that's actually slightly annoying. I do get new Estus Flasks, but I have to re-equip them every time. And if you can get the right angle, there's also a menu. I don't have any humanity. It requires humanity for kindling. I don't know what that accomplishes. Uh, you can disable standard health regen, which I think I'm actually going to do. And then you can warp to other towns, or you can leave the menu. It says empty, but when I click on it, it's not empty, which means that I'm assuming it should be accessible from other places. I don't know if there's an actual proper temple in this city. On fire menu. Bit awkward to get up. It might just be the whole third person thing. Uh, I know that they're supposed to be... Basically, I believe, I don't know if it's properly implemented yet or not, but you can get Flamekeeper Souls, just like in Dark Souls, to reinforce your Estus Flasks. So, I know that there's supposed to be somebody that looks like the uh, Flamekeeper from... Uh, people are going to hate me for not remembering what it's called, but the starting area. The, like, the starting town the hub, the hub, I'm going to go with the hub, of um, the first Dark Souls. The what's-her-face flame caper there, down the steps. There's supposed to be one of them in here somewhere. Now I'm wondering, is this fast travel as in time calculation, or... See, things look a lot better now that I'm not covered in snow. Ah, right. Let's access the bottomless box. Ooh, I like that. So that means I should be able to put all of these things in here without a worry. Uh, I think I'll keep pretty much... I like... I don't know why, but... I, oh, I have this obsession with keeping a rough-spun tunic. Like, all the time. It's just that... I, I think it's one of the best-looking pieces of clothing in the game. Now, granted, that's my personal opinion. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we I must spend have a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I also, I like walking sometimes. I'm going to run an aim someday. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours? Ask Yorland Greymane for help. Huh. I'd sooner bend my needle. And this is the player head tracking him at work. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect the miracle. I am a giant armored lizard. My father. Take a look. They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll get what's coming to them. Oops. Don't do that. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, nothing interesting. What do you have for sale? Steel great sword. Pretty spendy. Uh, what else? Everything wants me to have a steel helmet. I don't want a steel helmet. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Uh, do. I had a sort of plan for something I might do, but I haven't fully decided whether or not I actually want to. Which is basically, this necromantic amulet is added by undead effects. And the debug menu allows you to add one to your inventory. And I thought about making it sort of actually Dark Soul-y, where I basically, I would wear the amulet until 
say I found like a humanity and then I kindled with the humanity and then I would take it off until say the next time I died. Now see, some of these are in here, but other ones aren't. I must have screwed up somewhere with that mod, or it broke, or who knows what. See now, this is kind of something I'd like to have. I want basically a weapon where there's an identical version, but it's one-handed and two-handed, and then have them both, and then that would be my weapon switches. Although I'd really like an armsman's sword. Its damage seems low, perhaps not even normalized to match. Actually, is it? Have I looked? No, no, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. See, I want an armsman sword, because I like how it looks. Because that's how I operate. I like using things based on how they look. The only problem is, is... There's so many extra things in here that probably shouldn't be in here at the moment that it makes me wary about making any. I do kind of want to make this and the other thing. I think the first thing I want to do, though, is I want an armsman sword, I think. For a guardian sword. This is kind of what I'm talking about. Like, there's certain things like in here that are they're really expensive. And I'm sure that like the armsman sword probably it's probably the same as the guardian sword overall, because it probably is say faster. You know, it might be slightly faster to make up for the two less damage. But I'm just gonna buy some steel. Got something for just about every have you met my father? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much. Uh anything you sell steel, right? Blades. Four? Four, five I'll buy five. Stay sharp. I'll have to go to my bottomless box and go retrieve the rest of the materials required. But I can live with that. What is the rest of the materials? So that way I actually know. Swords. I need an iron ingot and a leather strip. What is there for great swords? See, like, I shouldn't be able to make that. Not yet. And then, see, like, there's the guardian longsword. So I would actually need another steel ingot in order to make that and the other sword. I wonder if I can make... See, I can make a steel great sword. I would have enough left over. I wouldn't have enough for a steel long sword. Definitely can't make that. Actually, now that I think about it, I know why I can make those. It's because I have automatic perks. And my automatic perks, because of the way I started out, I have Dwarven Smithing and Elven Smithing. So, that's actually really useful. Uh, what do I need? An iron ingot? I need an iron ingot and a leather strip. We'll make this, and then we'll call this good for now for two reasons. One, because ignore the floating bonfire. Because this has been going on pretty long, more so than is probably a good idea for one episode. And then the other part is because my throat's kind of sore. I'm not sure why. Definitely need a drink of some kind. Do do leather strips. Okay, so we should now be able to make the armsman sword. Wonder if it takes steel to improve. Ooh. 
I did it. I improved it. And two. For good measure. So now we've got our armsman sword. We've got a shield. Not one that I'm really a huge fan of, but it's a shield. It'll do. I might just hold on to it till we get something else. And I've got a full set of steel armor minus a helmet, because screw helmets. If anything, I'd like an armored hood. Which, honestly, I might be able to make. I probably don't quite have the tools for it, but... No? Is it under another category, maybe? Is there another category it could be under? For hood. I bet it's probably under heavy and I just didn't see it. Wait, you can craft a torch? Okay. Hmm. Weird. There should be for a hoods available. Weird. I wonder if they're maybe under the uh, advanced smithing. Weird. Very weird. <laughs> I can make an imperial buckler. Pretty sure the one I have on right now is actually heavy armor, which is good. Um, yeah, it looks like I don't see... I mean, the best option I've got is this, which I don't have a saber cat to, I don't have two white cap, and I don't have six bone meal. So that's not happening. Leather circlet. Leather and steel circlet. That's... But it's not actually an armor-providing circlet, so... It doesn't count. Hamlet of Commerce. I'm gonna do a little bit of looking into where you get it in, uh... Amulet of RK. Oh, by the way, you don't just lose your stuff. If you actually go back to where you died, you should be able to find your stuff sitting there. I think. In theory. It probably clones your character as a corpse and leaves all the stuff on it. So, it would actually be a good idea for me to leave extra equipment inside the bottomless box in case I have a death problem. But uh, we are going to hard save. Hard save over number four. And we will call this good for now. Oops. This is another thing that you get from customizable camera. This is what I'm talking about with the head tracking. Sometimes it just breaks. But, uh... I am a lizard in steel plate armor. Not steel plate armor, just steel armor. And I will see you guys next time.